Hello everyone, this is Ray. Today on Living Paycheck to Paycheck, we're going to talk about payday loans and those pesky bank debit cards. Need fast money? There are lots of choices. All you have to do is search the web and there are plenty of companies out there ready to give you a loan for a price. Let's suppose I offered you a loan of $300 and said that after two weeks you'd only have to repay $390. What would you say? Hopefully you would realize that that $90 over a two week period equals 720% interest. Let's switch that up. Let's say I offered you the same $300 and said that you could pay me off incrementally over a three month period. At the end of that three months, you would have paid me back $615. Hopefully, you would tell me to take a hike. Unfortunately, many people use payday loans, and as I'll show you, these are exactly the situations in which they find themselves. In these examples, the borrower gets paid twice a month, borrows $300 on December 1st, and repays the entire loan on December 15th. So the total payment is $390. Okay, so if you really needed that $300, that might not seem like such a bad deal. Okay, I'll give you that. Unfortunately, many people do not pay back the loan on the next pay period. Instead, they spread the loan out over a three month period. And that's when the real trouble begins. With many of these payday loan companies, if you do not explicitly state that you want to pay off the loan in one payment, they will spread them out for you. As I'm showing here in scenario two, this is the repayment of that original $300 loan over a six pay period period. As you can see, the first payment is $140 of which 90 is interest on the original 300, leaving you with a balance of $250. Second week, you will have a payment of $125 after paying $75 in interest, and so on down the line. After six pay periods, you will have paid $615, of which 315 is interest. Okay. So after seeing that, you might just say to me, no problem, I'll just pay it back the first pay period. To which I'd have to say, no you won't. You have to consider, if you were hard up enough to take this loan in the first place, when two weeks roll around and you have to make that $309 payment, you might not be able to. There'll be other things that you'll have to pay. And you will let that first payment at first spread out payment go and you will find that you will just let it continue until it runs out and that's the trap they are not spreading the money out to be nice they're spreading the money out the loan so that they can get the maximum amount of revenue from you so I would just suggest that you stay clear of these payday loans okay but if you really, 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 really need the money, that doesn't solve your problem. So I would suggest borrow it from a friend, a relative, anyone. Pay them interest, a fraction of what you would have paid this company. They'll make some money, you'll get out of your bind. But please do not use these payday loans because you will regret it. Okay, let's switch over to the second topic for today's video, which is the bank debit cards. Most of us carry them around. They're very convenient. Access ATMs anywhere and get your cash. I use them myself. However, many people go to the ATM two, three, four, five times between pay periods. And they are charged by the ATM and most are charged by their banks as well. Now the combined cost of each transaction could be three, four, five dollars. If you go five times, 
That's $25 that you're basically throwing away for nothing except the privilege of getting your own money. I would suggest trying to find a bank that does not charge ATM fees, not just for their terminals, but for other banks as well. Uh, failing that, I would try opening up an online account. Most of these online banks refund any fees that you were charged. I have a second checking account with E-Trade, along with a brokerage account. But you can open up just checking and savings as well. And most companies will allow you to split your direct deposit uh, when you get paid into two different accounts. So I have a nominal amount, uh, a couple hundred dollars, going into this online account. And that's the account that I use for my ATM transactions and cash. Um, in E-Trade in particular, if it's $200, I think, a month that you deposit via direct deposit, there are no fees, uh, banking fees, checking account fees. In addition, they will refund you any ATM charge up to a limit of four or five. I'm not quite sure, but I've never exceeded that limit. And it's nice not to have to pay to get your own money. Failing that, if you don't want to go ahead and open another account, I would suggest when you go shopping uh, to use the cash back option when you pay with your debit card because there are no fees associated with that. Uh, these are ways in which you can save in getting your own cash which you've already earned and paid taxes on. No need to pay an additional fee just to get it. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, this is Ray, and I'll see you next time on Living Paycheck to Paycheck.